Hey Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today we're going to take a look into your recent past, your current energy and your future and we're going to see what spirit, what the universe would like you to know. Now for anyone that's interested I do personal readings and I'll put my website in the description so you can have a little look and if you want to book a reading. But let's begin today's reading messages for scorpio sun moon and rising what does scorpio need to know messages for scorpio okay in your past we've got the five of wands the hierophant the seven of pentacles the nine of cups and the king of swords okay Scorpio, I feel like you used to feel the need to defend yourself, to defend who you are, what you believe in, all of these different things. It's like in the past, you were that type of person that if somebody disagreed with you or tried to challenge you, you know, you'd go into it with them. And I feel like now you're past that point. You're past that point of even caring what other people have to say. It's like you're starting to realise that sometimes no reaction is the best thing you can do. There's definitely been a lot of growth here, a lot of wisdom. I think that the things that, you know, you look back on yourself and the person you used to be, the things that used to make you happy, and I don't think you resonate with that side of yourself anymore. I think there's a lot of different things that have happened in your life that have really changed you, changed the way that you look at things and just changed your morals in general. And there's a lot of reflecting on that recently, just, it's like you're realising how far you've come, you're realising the change in yourself, and it can be the way that you handle people, the things that you spend your time doing, you just see now that you've grown, and that you're never going to go back to that person that you used to be. Now, I feel like here, in the recent past, it's like you're having to be very clear with someone about your boundaries, very matter of fact, telling somebody exactly how it is. And it's not like you're getting into it with them. It's not like you're arguing or you don't want to be doing all of that anymore. You simply are letting somebody know how you expect to be treated. And I feel like you are getting to that stage now where you allow people to show you. You allow people to show you who they are and how they want to act. You know, you can't force them to be any different. You can't keep having to tell somebody over and over and over and over. You'll tell them once, you'll tell them this is how I expect to be treated, this is my boundaries, and then you leave it to them to decide how they want to act. And I think that's something that has changed in you. I think in the past there were people in your life that you gave too many chances to. You could have just allowed the wrong people to walk all over you when you shouldn't have. And I think that's something you had to learn with time, with experiences. But you're not that person anymore. You're not the type of person that's going to allow people to come into your life and not treat you with respect. It's the confidence as well. Like you've gained this confidence. You understand now who you are and how you deserve to be treated. I think in the past when you had these relationships with toxic people or friendships with people that just weren't given the same amount of energy. I think it came from a place of where you didn't really know your worth. You didn't know what you deserved. So you didn't know any better. And yeah, I think you had to experience a lot of low moments, moments in your life where people did let you down. People did come into your life with promises and you were soon shown that they weren't who they said they were. And it's like you're not going to go through that again. You're not going to let people fool you anymore. And the crazy part is, you're a very intuitive person. Like, you un you can see straight through people if you really want to. And you allow yourself to see people now. You know, you don't... You don't let your hopes or promises or words get in the way of that anymore you follow your intuition you follow that gut feeling and I think there's somebody here in the recent past that you've had to 
tell them it's like a chance like you're giving them a warning it's not a chance it's a warning a warning that this is how you expect to be treated and you're not going to put up with anything less and i think that comes because you are so given you're the type of person that will give to somebody that you love somebody that means a lot to you and you expect the same in return now we've got the eight of cups I'm sorry if you can hear my cat meowing, by the way, because he's in... <laughs> let me just let him out. Sorry about that. I don't know if you could even hear him, but he was meowing so loud in the background. So, right. What I was saying is the Eight of Cups. I feel like, you know, you have walked away. You've walked away from a lot of people in the past that didn't treat you right. And you're not afraid to do that anymore. I think you understand that, you know, at times... You do need to let go of people and it doesn't matter how much you love them, how much, you know, you've given to that relationship. If people aren't treating you the way that you deserve, then it's time to go. And I think, you know, people notice that you're a bit ruthless with it. Like you will genuinely just cut somebody out of your life. You're not going to feel bad about it. You're not. And I think it's your experiences that have made you that way. It's like you, you're not going to sit there and you know, think about all these good times that no longer exist. You're not about to do that. You're very much, very strong, very powerful. That's what I feel here. And I'm not saying you've always been like that. I really do feel like it's something that has happened over time. It's being tested again. It's like Something's happening here recently where spirit is seeing how far you've come. Spirit's testing your growth. Current energy for Scorpio. Okay, we've got the Knight of Wands. The Hanging Man. The World. The Nine of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Eight of Swords. Okay. Your life's about to change or it's changing right now. There's a new beginning here. I think your luck's about to change, Scorpio. I think something that you deserve, something that you've been waiting on, the hanging man being here, it's something you've been wanting, something you've been praying for. It's about to come to your life and I think you haven't given up. You haven't given up that there's going to be some type of opportunity or something coming to your life that will help you, that will change things for you. And you've had to go through a hell of a lot to get to where you are now. And I think you're proud of yourself. You're proud of how far you've come. And you're allowing yourself to, to look at that. You know, I think that you used to be very hard on yourself, but this is a time for you to really... Look at everything you've done and respect it. Respect who you are. I think there's been so... I don't understand why. Because every time I do your reading, all I can see is, you know, a lot of snaky people around you, a lot of betrayal, but then also it's like you always get back up. And I don't know what it is, but I feel like people to your face would not really believe in you, put you down, or maybe just make you feel like you weren't going to reach your goals. But it's these same people that deep down see your potential. They see something in you. They see who you could be. And I think it scares them. I think it makes them, it triggers something in them that they're not going to be able to match that. I think it's your passion, Scorpio. I think the way that you're passionate about things, if you care about something, if you really want it, nobody can stand in your way. And you will take a risk. You're the type of person that will take a risk. You're not going to just, you know, sit in routine. That's not really you. I think if you want something, you're not afraid to go after it. It's, that, it's like a fiery side of you. And a lot of people... You know, they always think that Scorpio are a fire sign, but you have that fire about you. You have that passion and that strength. But then you also have the emotional side, the intuitive side, the ability to feel what's right and then also act on those feelings. It's very interesting. But yeah, it's like... 
there was a lot of obstacles surrounding you. A lot of things that were making you feel like you weren't going to be able to get through it in the past. But you still did, you still carried on. You worked at it bit by bit. You kept praying for this new beginning, praying for an opportunity. And I think things are about to really change here for you, Scorpio. People also feel like they can't predict you, like they don't know what you're going to do next. There's people from your past, people in your life that just feel like they never really fully know you. And I know that sounds strange, but it's like they can't work you out completely. It's like they know what you allow them to know. But they still feel like there's something more there. And I think that's because you do have this side of yourself that you really do keep private. You know, that not many people or anyone at all sees. Somebody here senses that. Somebody here feels like they just can't work you out. And it's like they're trying to. They're trying to work out what's on your mind, what you want to do next. And they can't figure you out. This could be multiple people, but they just feel like blindsided. Like they just don't know what's coming next. You always surprise people. Pull some tea leaf cards, current energy. Okay, we've got birth or a conception of a child or an enterprise. Heart, love, deep affection and caring. Grapes, time to go out and have fun. Horse, short journey. Okay, so there could be a pregnancy here. It doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody in your life. If not, then this could be the birth of a new idea, birth of a new beginning. Like I said, there is this fresh start here. There's an opportunity. So if there's something you've been working on, something creative, take it that way. It could be that something new is about to be born. This is something that you've been nurturing, something that you've been feeding. I feel like, you know, this is something that hasn't just come overnight. It's something that you've worked towards, something that you've You've been given to something bit by bit and it's finally starting to come to life. I hope that makes sense. Scorpio, I feel here that there's somebody in your life that really has a lot of deep love and care for you. And it's like they don't know how to show it. They don't know how to express it to you. And it could be this person that can't figure you out, that feels like there's more to you. And they're trying to work you out and it's like they just... They don't know how to, but this person, they see something in you. They are drawn towards you, so they can't really think about anyone else. If you don't know who this person is, then it could be like secret admirer type of energy. If there is somebody in your life, then this person, their feelings are a lot more deeper than what they're showing. And I think this person really struggles to let their guard down and to fully open up. But they want to. They want to let you in. They want to show you how they feel. They want to express it all to you. But they're struggling. And I think that comes through, you know, their own insecurities, their own past trauma. I feel like spirit wants you to just focus on yourself, though, to focus on your happiness. There's somebody here in your life, this person that cares about you a lot, that has this love towards you. They've got a lot of healing that they need to do themselves. And I think that you're the type of person who likes to help. You're the type of person that likes to give a solution to somebody or to help somebody through their emotions. But at the same time, Spirit here is saying that you need to allow somebody else to heal on their own. You can't do that for them. And you need to, you know, really try and be more present, try and be in the moment and enjoy your life. I think you could feel recently like time is just going so quickly that it's almost scary. And I think you're working on so many different things here. You've got so many goals and so many challenges that you've been facing. It's very important here that you have time to just be, to be here right now and be in the moment. 
and not let it pass you by. So let's have a look at what's coming up for you, Scorpio. Future energy for Scorpio. Future energy. Okay, coming up for you, we've got the chariot. The five of cups. The tower. The queen of cups. The death card. Okay. There's going to be something here that you're not expecting, something that you don't see coming. And when we get the tower in the future position, I feel like this is spirit warning you, warning you to be prepared for the unexpected, because this is something that you are not going to see coming. This is something in your life that you may have thought was solid, you may have thought was comfortable, you may have thought this was long term and something's about to change and it's going to impact your life it really is and i feel like you do need to be prepared for this there could have been a knowing i feel like with this card if you look there's this tower there's this explosion there's lightning in the background i feel like there's been signs here from spirit to let you know that this tower was not something that was meant to be in your life forever I think you knew that deep down. I think you knew that this wasn't what you pictured in your future. As much as you tried to, as much as you wanted to believe that this tower was stable, I think you knew that some type of truth is about to be shown. This is going to be, it's going to cause chaos. It's going to cause disruption in your life. The tower comes when you're holding on to something that isn't right for you, whether you realise it or not. And when you don't make that decision to walk away, spirit sometimes intervenes and forces you to see a situation for what it really is. Forces you to make you so uncomfortable that you have to take this other path that is meant for you. And you're not going to be able to see it when this happens, Scorpio. You're not going to understand why it's happening. But like I said, your luck's about to change. And the crazy thing is, you're going to see this as the complete opposite. When this tower moment happens, you're going to feel like you've got the worst luck and you don't understand why. And you're going to be questioning your faith and questioning, you know, why are you doing good? Why are you doing all the right things? But then this is happening. But you need to realise that this is, it is protection. It really is. I think there's somebody with you in spirit as well that can see that there's something else, something that you deserve, something that is going to make you feel I think there's something at the moment that you think is going to make you happy or you think is what you want. But the truth is there's something out there that is going to fulfill you in so many deeper ways. Spiritually, emotionally, in every aspect. And it's going to feel very difficult. I feel like you're going to be grieving over this loss, over this ending. You know, we do have the death card here. This is an ending. You're going to be walking away from something or forced to leave a situation behind as much as you don't want to. And you won't understand it at the time, like I said, but this is good luck. This is something happening that is going to hurt for the meantime, but is going to change your life in the best way. It's going to push you towards something that is going to bring you so much more happiness. And you are going to move forward from it. You are going to start to feel peace come back into your life. And I think only when you're out of this situation, only when... You leave it in the past. Only then, after time, you're going to really notice how much this was actually affecting you and how much you weren't really able to move forward, able to proceed. I think a lot is going to open up for you once this ending happens. And it's going to shock you. It's like confirmation from spirit, confirmation that you're doing the right thing, you're on the right path. And, you know... 
I honestly do believe that when things keep happening in your life, like things keep going wrong, there's all these, when things are just difficult, I really believe that that is spirit trying to tell you something, trying to make you see something. And the same goes for when you're on the right path. It's like things will just flow. Things will start to feel more natural. Opportunities will open up. It's like your luck. You'll just start to see that you're on the right path and you'll get those confirmations constantly. You're going to feel it. You're going to see it. You're going to really understand how this was how things were meant to be. But it is going to be painful and it is going to take really tapping into that strength that I know you have. It's the ending of a cycle. You've given your all to it. But I think that you know it's time to move forward. It's time to do something new. And I think you've been wanting that. I think you've been wanting some... It's like the energy that was in, is in your life right now. It may feel comfortable, it may feel good at times, but I think you've you've outgrown it and you can feel that. You feel that you've outgrown it. Star guaranteed success. A stubborn, aggressive person. Well, family wishes come true. There's some type of success here. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. There could be a new business opportunity. Scorpio, when you when something bad happens to you, as much as you allow yourself to feel that emotion, I feel like it also gives you that push. It's like it gives you that ambition to just think, I'm going to turn this into something great. And it almost like gives you that fuel to keep going. And through doing this, through taking all of this emotion towards this situation, towards this tower moment, there's going to be some type of massive success that will change your life. It really will. It's even, it's going to help your family. That's how big this success is. It's going to change your family dynamic. It's going to change something that you've been struggling with in your family. It's going to help that, whether that's money, whether that's just coming together some type of success, some type of wish that is being granted here. It's going to have a big impact, not only on you, but the people that you really love. Now, this stubborn, aggressive person could be involved in this tower moment. Could be a truth coming out. Maybe you're seeing some of these true colours. If not, I feel like spirit is just letting you know that there's somebody here coming up for you that is stubborn, that is not going to change, that is not willing to see things from your point of view. This is somebody that gets aggressive before they can even hear you out, before they can try to understand your point of view. This person's not worth your time. And like I said, you know that. You, but I said it in the past, the King of Swords, you're not willing to let people overstep those boundaries. But I think there's somebody here that maybe is going to show a different side to them than what you've seen. And that will be enough for you. Peacock, beware of great pride. It's okay to ask for help. Spirit wants you to know that if you need help, if you need to talk to somebody or if you want advice on something, there's somebody that you know you can trust. Go to that person. It's somebody who has a lot of wisdom. I think you know who that person is. And even if they're not here with you anymore... You can still talk to them. You can still ask for a sign. There's something here about, you know, not letting your pride get in the way, allowing others to, to help you. But you will receive a gift. See what I mean? It's like, as soon as you let this end, as soon as you close off this chapter, everything starts to change for you. Everything. You're receiving a gift. Family wishes come true. Guaranteed success shrewdness and resourcefulness in business it's like everything is about to open up for you here i don't think you realize it scorpio but this is the biggest blessing in disguise weeping willow family sorrow yeah there's going to be something that hurts something that's painful something that you're going to need to let yourself heal from 
that before you can have this wish come true, something that you've always wanted, whether that's being able to help and support your family financially or, you know, whatever it is, starting your own business, getting this new job opportunity. Whatever this success is to you, it could be anything. It's going to come after this weeping willow, after this sadness. And I want you to hold on to that. I want you to know that, that it's going to hurt, but there's going to be something so much more beautiful at the end of it. And don't lose sight of that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reading, Scorpio. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.